Okay, this is this is getting ridiculous. I pay my bills in full on time every single month. Even if I do make a mistake, they should call me. They shouldn't just decline <clears throat> purchases and freeze my account. Maybe you missed the whole economic meltdown. Banks are very unforgiving. Th to freeze my account with no warning? That's 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 not right. Okay, but you could probably fix it with a phone call, so call them. Don't stress about it. I'm stressed because with everything we've been through, I don't like random and unexpected things. I'm starting to think that Lisa's behind this. I don't understand. Yeah, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, something that not very many people do. Okay, yes, and I appreciated that. So how could you do this to me? Christina, I'm confused here. It's like I'm walking in halfway into this movie. Uh, you are. I thought you were a decent person, that we'd bonded on some level. But that was all an act, right? The concern and understanding about all the stress that I've been under. No, no, of course not. I, I don't understand. Like, what do you get out of it? How can you possibly benefit from me being strung out on meds? Christina, where is all this anger coming from? Okay, let's get real. When I gave you that hydrocodone, it was what you wanted. You're jumping to a lot of conclusions. I learned my lesson a long time ago, the hard way, not to underestimate how crazy Lisa can be, but probably in this instance, you were just landing okay. the payment. I know that I lost last month's statement, but I was paid in full up to that point. Okay, well, I mean, worst case scenario, someone stole your credit card information. It does happen all the time. We make purchases online, you know, and you never know when you're on an unsecure site or someone likes Benelli's hacking in and finding someone's bank record. Why does this happen to me? I am a busy man. I am a brain surgeon. I don't have time to get on the phone, punch in 15 different numbers just to finally get somebody on the other end that's going to ask me to confirm my purchases, cancel that card, and reissue me another one. Oh, you poor baby. I realize this is a huge inconvenience, right? You should be yes. reconstructing someone's brain, not holding on the line like some ordinary person. Now you're just making fun of me. A little. I could take it off the notch. So, um... What's the rest of your day like today? I am working, and my time is as valuable as yours is. Mm, that's, well, come on, babe. Do me a favor, just no, call the credit card company no, for me. Why? No, even if I wanted to, which I do not, the credit card company has to speak to you. But you look so, so why don't cute you, today. Thank you. Get your cell phone out Dr. and make that call. Dr. Sam Nicholson, please call the pharmacy. Christina, when I first spoke with you, I could tell that you were under a tremendous amount of stress and anxiety. You didn't even need to say anything. It was completely obvious. I thought hydrocodone would help. I just assumed that you'd be more responsible and you wouldn't abuse it. That's not the point. I didn't know okay, you, what I was taking. You had your say? All right, let me have mine. I couldn't write you a prescription without your mother's consent, and it didn't seem like you wanted her involved, so I just threw in a little white lie and said that the pills were herbal supplements, and then you just pretended and went along and believed me. I didn't pretend anything. You're a doctor. I trusted you. Christina, you knew that they were pills. Why is this so hard for you to get? I didn't know what kind I was taking. But now that I think about it, when I went to order them online, I noticed that the pills didn't look the same. But you had an answer for that. You didn't even miss a beat. You went right into this whole story about how you ordered them from some medical supply company that only deals with doctors. Yeah, well, that's obviously fiction. Christina, you are a bright girl. You're on the wait list for Yale. You're not easily duped. Nobody can trick you into taking pills. You took them because you wanted to, right? You went along with the euphemism because it was easier that way. That is not true. I told you that I didn't want drugs. Okay. All right, it's no problem. It's not a big deal, okay? From here on out, you can just deal with your stress on your own. I know you got a soft spot for Christine. Hi there. Hey, I was intrigued by your call. <laughs> How were you? Is your father around? No, he's at the botanical garden. Something about the, the Dutch lily breeding efforts. Oh, okay. You know, he was quite taken with you. Yeah, I was afraid of that. He said I should buy you lots of lingerie. Oh, oh, well, Daddy knows best, so feel free. Well, maybe I will. Must be weird having him underfoot. 
Yeah, you know, he turns every place he goes into a loony bin. Sometimes I'd rather stick forks in my eyes. Oh, well, I would not like that, so maybe you should just tell him to leave. Believe me, <laughs> I would love nothing more, but uh, I don't know if there's something to be said for keeping him where I can see him, you know? It's always nice to uh, keep an eye on the truly insane. There's no telling what they can do when left to their own devices, huh? Hmm, that's an interesting choice of words. Are you talking about your father? Or me? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me, Lisa. Whatever happened to moving on with your life, huh? Excuse me, shouldn't you be calling someone? Mm-hmm. I'll get around to it. Okay. Friendly reminder, we do not get a brand new hot tub if your account is frozen. Well, in that case, I'll devote the rest of my afternoon to it because the idea of me and you soaking in the hot tub with a bottle of wine is worth the sacrifice. Aw. You know what? If we're going to do the hot tub thing, why don't we take it to the next level and re-landscape the whole backyard? That's what I'm saying. If we just landscape everything around the hot tub, it'll be perfect. Really? Yes. You sound excited about this. Of course I am. You sound surprised. Well, I mean, you're just not someone that would deny yourself something. Dr. Why didn't you suggest a hot tub before? In all honesty, I'm glad I didn't. The fact that you're taking the initiative on this makes me feel that you want to spend quality time with me and make our relationship a priority again. And I like that. I do. Good. In fact, I'm going to call the installation place right now. Perfect. Ugh. I left my cell phone at home on the charger. It's over, Patrick, as you say you are, huh? Why do you keep bringing up Patrick? As soon as you walk in the door, boom, he's in the air. Really? Because not from anything that I'm doing. Uh-huh. Why are you so insecure about Patrick? I... Haven't I proven to you that I no longer want to be his doormat? Okay, why don't you prove it again? Huh? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? You're a good kisser. But... What? I'm, I'm always a skeptic, you know that. I know how hard it is to get over somebody when things don't work out, how difficult it is to get past that. Mm. Well, nothing shatters a romantic illusion like uh, turning your life inside out for someone who accuses you of killing a child. And it's like I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. Not only did Patrick think that I actually hit Jake Weber and then I just I kept on going, and he was actually happy about it. That he could finally prove to the world that I'm some sort of monster. I remember the night that that happened very clearly. Patrick came over here, read me the riot act about how I had set that whole series of events in motion that killed that poor kid. He practically knocked me out of my own couch. But I can't say he acted without provocation. Okay, you know, you didn't live through what I lived through because it wasn't enough that he painted me some evil, immoral, attempted wife-murdering, kidnapping homewrecker. No, he had to add baby killer to the list, too. All right, when I look back and I think about how I, I groveled and I, and I begged for him to just pay attention to me, to love me, just to be nice to me, and he, he treated me like dirt because of that judgmental, prissy bitch of a wife. All right, when I look back at myself, it makes me physically ill. So you don't need to worry about Patrick because I hate the sight of him. Doc, you got a second? For you, not really. It's about Lisa. I know you're in the business of saving lives. Just think of this as my attempt to do the same thing. Wow, that's a new tone for you, Johnny. Where's all the obnoxious behavior? <laughs> I never really liked you, Dr. Drake. I mean, what is it? Your wife was out of town one weekend, you were bit by the horned dog, and you saw Lisa as an easy target. Honed in on her, hit it, quit it, and then ducked any responsibility of any damage you might have caused to her life or her psyche. Two things about that, Johnny. I don't care what you think about me. Second, it didn't happen that way, but go ahead. Oh. Well, you were right. Lisa is unbalanced, mentally and emotionally. This crossover to normalcy that's being interested in me, it's all an act. She's just as obsessed with you as she ever was. Well, I appreciate that. Any particular reason? Thought I'd give you a heads up. It's kind of ironic. I said the same thing to you. Now I'm telling you.
anybody home? Thank you. 